Hello friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how to design a mask in Simulink. So basically, I will implement a mask on a subsystem and try to pass a parameter and its values through that mask uh, dialog to the uh, blocks which are within that. For this purpose, I will use the equation, uh, voltage uh, equation across a capacitor and this is the equation which I will be using, voltage equal to uh, resistance into capacitance into the derivative of vo uh, capacitance voltage plus capacitance voltage where we capacitance voltage I will assume is nothing but this which is uh, initial uh, condition of VC0 into sine of omega t and initial conditions I will take it as these values is 2 volt plus uh, resistance of uh, 10 ohms and capacitance of 0 0.1 uh, farad okay yes so now let's begin I go back to my simulink. I create a new simulink model for this. Okay. Before I do something, let me save this model. Uh, mask in simulink. You can choose any name as you want. Once it is done, so now let's start. So first, let's have a uh, let's create this uh, vc0 into sine of omega t so that we can create using a sine wave form so we can have this and in this what we can ha have is so probably we'll name it as my vc yeah sounds good and i will name it the amplitude as vc so this is something a variable which we have two options either we take it from the base workspace or we pass it through this um, uh, through the mask we will pass it through the mask parameter so once we have this VC uh, what else we need is we will need a derivative of this so we will just have a derivative block in implemented so we will have a probably continuous derivative not a problem and uh, I will just leave it blank so once we have derivative so this becomes uh, VC dash for me and okay so I go back to my notes and yeah so we have to do a VC dash plus VC so this is my VC probably I can again name it as VC signal and this will be my VC dash which will go to a uh, game block so I will have to put a game block here Game block and the value of this relations into capacitance. So once we have this, we can just add it here and we can name it as VC dash. Yes. Now we will add, need a summation block or add block, and we'll add this VC plus over here and VC from here. So this becomes my voltage. So this I can take it into a scope. So I will add a scope now over here. Scope. I will make it two axes. So in the first axis, uh, in the second axis I will give the output, and in the first axis I will give the input, which is my nothing but my VC. Yes. So here everything becomes. Now if you simulate this, it will throw error because it doesn't know the values of R, C, and VC. So if you want, I can just quickly show you this. You should throw this area. That was expected. Undefined function of variable R or variable this. And so <clears throat> it's giving some kind of suggestion that I can load it through some base workspace or something like that. But since I want to show you in masking, I will proceed with that. So now I'll create a subsystem out of it. So sub creating subsystem is very simple. You can just select the blocks through which you want to create a subsystem and just click on this uh, uh, first button. Just be careful, you have to create a simple subsystem. You can of course create enable and trigger subsystem as well if you need request. But in this uh, presentation, I'll just create a simple subsystem. So this creates a subsystem block like this. And now what we can do is we can just add mask. So if I double click, it goes inside. But no, I can to add mask, I can just right click, go to mask and create mask. Or you, you could have used the control M button as well from your keyboard. Now in this uh, mask editor window, 
you have few options first tab is for icons and ports so whatever if you want to modify the display the look of this block you can use this we'll we'll play with this at the later part of this video first let's have a look at the main part which is parameter and dialog so over here uh, what are the three parameters which we need are we need R, uh, VC, R and C. So we need uh, initial voltage, okay, voltage of the capacitance. So we will add one. And this is a prompt which we can add voltage capacitance. And we can make this as a VC. And the initial value for this was I think uh, 2 volt over here. So I will just add uh, 2 over here. And then I will go to the next parameter this will probably be my resistance and the variable name will be R so please be careful this first is for prompt and the second one is for the name this is the actual variable name which will come it was 10 ohm the initial condition the third one will be my uh, sorry my this one capacitance okay I think it's going wrong capacitance for capacitor oh, and probably I will go with uh, resistance and capacitance yes. thing. okay and this is C and the initial value was 0 0.1 so once we have it we can just click apply and you saw that the color change of this block that's because of this mask uh, the mask is implemented but since we have not given anything over here it takes a default sh a shape which is like uh, uh, everything that default values so say for example if you want to modify this say for example if you want to just put a display something some text of our own or probably why some text we can put this particular equation itself over there so we'll just put this equation over there go back here and just okay so for single course you should if you have to put a single course in the text you should give uh, escape a uh, character of single course once again yeah so once we have it we can just uh, quickly just uh, click on apply and this will change so if you notice this our text whatever we gave here it came over here and also you can see the preview here say for example you want you want to play with uh, various options of so you can make it uh, a bit more transparent if I click apply so this post comes up, up that's the reason for that is the image which covers this block the mask image it, it has become transparent if I switch back to opaque it will go uh, again that one and you can play with different options like visible invisible and units auto scale and rotation fix and so there are lots of options which you can play with and of course we'll refer to the help document for that so once we have these things now if you double click this is the mask uh, dialog or mask window which we have created using this parameters and dialog window so see if you see whatever the things which we have written here in the voltage and capacitance uh, this prompt it has come on the left side and the rest the value has come on the right side these are the initial values but the variable within is uh, is this these things you can also have various options here at attributes you can make it enable disable visible if you want say for example if you don't want capacitance to be changed by the user you can just uncheck it and click apply so if you notice it became you can still see it but uh, the user can see it but he can't modify so these are some of the options say for example if he wants to you if you want to hide it from the user you just make it invisible it goes off yeah so I think just make it enable will be of no sense because it's anyway not visible to the user. So you have to make both to bring it back for the user to be ch to be able to change it. Okay, so once I have shown you various options in parameters and dialogs options, the third tab is initialization tab. So over here on the left hand side, you can see all the variables which you have defined in the mask uh, dialog, which comes in the mask workspace. It's not the base workspace; it's a different workspace. And you can write some initialization command say for example you have to uh, check some value that if, if say for example say you have to check if c is uh, if c value is uh, greater than uh, 5 do something and otherwise do something else else do something so this this kind of uh, initial skills can be written here which you want to run in the initialization of the of this particular model or block 
the fourth type is documentation which although doesn't sounds uh, very interesting but this is one of the type which i will request or recommend highly to use more often so here in the first one you can give your mask type say for example i give my mask or anything whatever you name fancy name voltage mask or voltage block description so if you see in this dialog it, it is empty over here so if what if you want to give some kind of description because say for example if you open any of the inbuilt blocks of the uh, not a good option let me open a gain block so <coughs> if you open a gain block there is some kind of description which uh, matchbox by default provided what does this blocks do if you want to do something similar over here that uh, you want to provide some option uh, show the your users that what does this blocks does you can add it into this description block so say for example if you want to add this equation here as well that uh, say for example I add more lines that this block will compute the below equation and I click apply this will come up here so whatever text you add here in the description it appears in the, your uh, in your mask dialog or mask window over here one more thing probably I, I could show you you can also rearrange these parameters as per you want so I will go back to the parameters and uh, I'll come back to documentation but I want to show you something quickly so here over here in the bottom you can see there is this item location new row so by default all the items are in new row but what if you for some reason you want capacity and resistance values to be placed side by side so instead of new row you can use current row <coughs> so that means this capacitance will be at the current row as the resistance and click apply you can see those two came side by side if you want to create a new row then it will again go back there you can have prompt like in the left or on top so in the, this case capacitance will come on top and the uh, editor uh, page will come on bottom so like this so you can play with these options as well one more thing what I can show you is you can also create this panels and grouping box and all those things you can use this panels or group box to group into different uh, if you have lots of parameters then these things are good that you can uh, probably group them into one and uh, say for example you, if you want to group resistance and uh, capacity into that one so you just drag and drop there and these two if you click apply see it came in a separate group over here what if you want to give some name to that group so you can see basic parameters so this will come over here as a basic parameter so probably that is a voltage and uh, so and even you can change the first one so you can probably change it to say probably say for example voltage and click apply so the first one becomes voltage and this becomes basic parameters so this way you can make it more fancy and uh, the way you want to design it you can make group and panels uh, for your purpose okay I go back to the documentation tab again so I explain you what does this type and description does <coughs> so for this help if you are wondering what does this place will do so if you click this help button it will take you to the help doc documentation of this particular block but if you have not entered anything it will come as empty so what if you want to give some description to the user uh, that what does this block does a kind of help so in this part of description you have limited space you can write lots of examples or lots of uh, screenshots or something like that but here you have free you can write tons of documents uh, what you want to show you to your user about this particular block so say for example you want to uh, tell to your user that uh, enter the initial values of voltage resistance and capacitance capacitance to compute the voltage value I, of, of, of course I am trying to be as short as possible because in this video so if I click help again so what I entered here appears here yes so once we have all these values and everything entered you can just click ok here and anyway our mask is prepared so by default this initial values will be taken over here whatever you have entered in the mask editor but if you want to change or if your user wants to change they can change it over here so for the time being I'll leave it as it is and I'll move back to my uh, simulator yeah. and over here now I'll just save it and start simulation 
so this time there was no error so if you recall in the beginning of this uh, video there was some error but no those errors have gone because we have no all the variables well defined so if you give you see the output in the scope we can see we have something so first uh, port in this scope was our as was I remember our input which is the sine wave so that's a, that's of yellow color and blue color is our final result if you are wondering why this in, in the initial part let me just zoom this part if you are wondering why this uh, certain this kind of change is there that is because of the because we are using a derivative block derivative block is nothing but it takes the difference between the signals in the two time stream it is delta u by delta t so unless it has some uh, values it can't start computing from the zeroth time so to make it as small as possible we have to fine tune our uh, step size so that it, it is uh, uh, as least as possible and our def differentiation starts as early as possible so that we can go probably go to our this uh, uh, configuration parameter in the solver you can either use the variable step also and just uh, manage this maximum step size to a very low number uh, it will be done but for this video I think I will prefer to go for fixed step size and with a uh, <coughs> uh, step size of probably a very 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 small uh, instead of 0 0.001 or probably it may take a lot of time so I will go by 0 0.001 uh, second which is around 1 millisecond so once I have done this, I'll just click OK and now if I simulate again this particular model. Wow, perfect. So now we, you can see it's, it's quite OK. It starts almost from zero. Yeah, so my blue line is the output and my yellow line is the uh, yeah uh, input, the sine wave or the uh, voltage across the capacitance. Of course, if you want to bring this out of your uh, mass subsystem, that also you can do and uh, you can that will appear as a port here and then you can give that as an input or measure it across a real uh, yeah, system and pass it through some USB uh, cable the data to the yeah, MATLAB and you can do that okay so once we have this uh, mask working fine so you can even play with different values and see what, what are the changes in our output say for example we increase the capacitors sorry resistance to a very high value and we just save it and see it becomes somewhat very big so probably we can just double click here and I'm not sure why this is not happening so we should use this button here so you saw the value of this output changes drastically of course you have to do some math and figure out if uh, what is happening and to understand this but more or less uh, things are working pretty much fine over here okay so that's all one more thing before I end this video I would like to show you that uh, you can do this whatever the data you are getting over here in the scope you can also uh, send it to your workspace in the MATLAB so that you can log it uh, you get it into a dot mat file so for that what you can do is that you can go to these settings and then last option is logging you can go here and you can just uh, log data to workspace and you can give the variable name whatever you want and probably I will leave it as scope data for the time being click apply you can either use other options also whether you want to limit the data points or something but for the time being I will leave all the default options and then once I save it I just click run again and if you see uh, observed in the workspace this is scope data came so if you just open this uh, uh, it's, uh, it will have your values so uh, you, you can use these values or you can save this scope data and then uh, in a mat file uh, by just right clicking on this and save as and you can just use uh, mat levels or probably a scope data mat and and, and and you'll get that uh, values in the dot mat concept so yeah once you have dot mat concept once you are restarting you can just load this uh, dot mat file and you'll get this uh, scope data and to plot the values if you are wondering that where the values are so you can just double sorry if you, you can just double click and so there are two ports so it shows for both the ports so you can just go to one of the ports just double click and it will keep opening and here you can see in this structure there is your values and just double click and you can see all the values over here so you can retrieve this value using this particular um, command on given top a scope data one dot values you'll get all the values and then you can plot it uh, as and when required 
Okay then, thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, please do put it in my comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.